I have returned. Let's do this. Hi, Ed Dry Crunch. All ready to go for step six, are we? That's what I like to see. Last time we made a way for the game to recognize that the player finished the game. This time we'll be adding some things that'll make it the game easier to play. First, take this. Take a look at the game screen. It's kind of difficult to tell what exactly you're supposed to be doing, isn't it? I feel like we'll need. We'll have to tell the player what they're supposed to do. Yep. There are a few ways to do that. But let's keep things simple and spell it with text. If we want text to show up on the game stream, we'll need a text object node on it. Well, let's, you, know, you need to select objects, special objects, and now we call the text object node on from the text object. Okay, yep. Text, oh text, what a joy, what a wonder that we may express ourselves with text. Through text shall we weave our words to the player and aid them in the gaming endeavor. Okie okay, dokie, okay. time to write some informative text that to the player that tells them they need to do something. Open the settings, yep. Edit. The apples. Okay, so we added a few more to adjust. Under properties, only enable visible. Also, add color red, text color white. Display that y axis. Okay. Right now, just close the settings. Now it's off to the game screen to see how that looks. Okay. Hooray! Right, our text is legible. Now we know what we're supposed to be doing in the game. So what's next? Can't really tell if this number is really supposed to mean. Can't wait so it's clear and confusion. It's time the program screen. Copy. Edit on our display device remaining. I did. We need a little peek at the game screen now, okay. Great. Looks like the text we set is displaying a okay. There shouldn't be any doubt about the number means now. Before we move on, could you try collecting apples first again? Beautiful. Say, if you wanted another try at the game, you'd probably be hoping for another way to redo it, wouldn't you? Let's stream on the process and make the game automatically restart if the player wins. Program screen, please. It's time to call up a retry node on. Go into the output here. Yep, select retry it. Dang, then retry it. Yep. Slap it into the blue frame. Blue frame. Yep, slap it into the blue frame. There we go. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. What's wrong? You know Timer Nodon. I sort of misheard the name and thought it was Rhymer Nodon. And thought it was Rhymer Nodon. And thought it was Rhymer Nodon. Shut the fuck up, bitch. So I was all like, you're no fool. Stay in school. And I got the weirdest look. I want a do-over. I want a do-over. I want a do-over. 
They never, it's never as bad as you think. Well, almost never. Anyway, let's call up timer going on. Yep, select metal. Timer. Seriously? Who mixes up timer and rhymer? I'm not mad because you got my name wrong. I'm mad because it's such a stretch. Sorry. <sighs> not even that bothered, really. There's no need to apologize. Just try to remember a name. Also, that ends well, I suppose. Let's slide timer right on to the blue frame, okay? The settings. Yep. And close. We also want to connect for the retry. Yep. So now, two seconds after you finish the game, it should restart. I know you'll want to check it out, so... Check it out on the game screen. Okay, pick up all the apples to win the game. Yep. And just like that, we're back at the start. It's much easier now, isn't it? Alrighty, now we can head back to the programming screen now. How about that? Step six is done. You're making great progress. I, uh, thanks. I've never seen such syllables. Your words are poetry. We made a few quality of life improvements this time, like using text to explain how to play. We also added a way to retry the game after you finished it. Next, we're going to go going to up the ante and add some teleport traps to keep your foes on toes. See you in the next step. Huh, teleporting, okay. Hiya, ready to roll up your sleeves and work on step seven? In the last step, we added some on-screen hints to tell a player how to play the game. Could you please try to beat the game for me? Nice, I like the way you roll. And our retry feature is working as intended. It's fun enough as it now, for sure, but I think we should do better. You know what this game needs? More spice. How about this time we make some obstacles for our object, for our play to overcome, like some teleport traps, for instance. That's sure to give people the thrill they deserve. Okay. How, how do you make a teleport trap? I'm very glad you asked. We simply enlist the services of a very talented teleport expert. Teleport object entrance note on. Go to objects. Launch, destroy, and attract. Teleport object. Teleport object entrance. Hmm. It was you who summoned me to this mortal realm? My power can reach beyond the veil, a feat no normal note on could achieve. Thus, I can pass objects into the realm of subspace, should you desire it. We might take you up on that offer. Let's send the ball into a uh, subspace to see how it goes. Okay. So, make the teleport entrance note on a bit smaller to put in the blue frame. Okay. Right. Open settings. Let's start by making the entrance itself look round. We want to set the object to a sphere. Next, we want the ball to be the object that's being warped. Select teleport what? Enable sphere. Perfect. Now close the detailed settings. And also the settings. When one enters the realm of subspace, one's corporeal presence is diminished. They will be lost from the game screen. Do you still wish to cross into the void? Yeah, buddy. So pumped about for this. Well then, let's see it embark on the incredible voyage. Let's see the game screen. The sphere at the center is faintly outlined in the teleport entrance. Where did the ball go? It vanished into the teleport entrance. Spooky! Actually, the ghosts have nothing to do with this. We did it with all programming. Now that our ball is nowhere to be seen, our only option is to retry. The difficulty level as it is now might be a little steep. Maybe the ball vanishes, it should reappear at the start point. Okay. 
More specifically, when the ball enters the subspace realm, we'll need to make it come out again in the starting point. We're already at the warp entrance. It shouldn't come as a big surprise to hear that it's also a teleport exit. Call the teleport exit node on like we always do. Okay. Objects. Select the launch, destroy, and attract. Teleport object. And now for the teleport object exit, call up the teleport object exit node on. And we will do that in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching Let's Play Game Builder Garage. And I'll see you guys in the next vid. Peace. Stay crispy, everybody. Bye.